Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So with this video, we are going to start API automation with Cypress. In my earlier series that you have already seen API automation with the REST assured or HTTP client. But this time we are going to do with API automation with Cypress. Cypress for the UI automation, there is a very good playlist is already there. You can check it and then go with that. Now today what we have to do in the first session, we are going to talk about installation part of Cypress. On Windows laptop same thing exactly you can do it on Mac machine also and it's very very straightforward so a couple of things that we need first thing is that we need to install node.js right we need node.js library second thing is that along with node.js you will be getting npm package also then we have to download one editor tool because we have to write some code somewhere so we have to use visual studio code Right, so we have to download Visual Studio Code. I would prefer Visual Studio Code, which is very lightweight and the best compatible with the JavaScript. Then we will be using a couple of things we are going to download. The first thing is that we have to install uh, Cypress and then we will check that uh, how to set up the project. So then we will see set up the Cypress uh, project where in Visual Studio Code. So there's a shortcut for Visual Studio Code is VSC. And then we will see that uh, open Cypress and then the last step we will see that run test cases just to check that okay cypress is absolutely working fine or not so these are the seven steps that we have to do so first thing we have to check a uh, node.js is there in your system or not or npm is there or in your system or not so what you do you just open your command prompt and then type this particular command this is simple write node minus v you can see 10.16.3 is available and then you can check npm minus v so this is your npm version is also there perfect it's not there if it's showing some not found or command not found or node is npm is bad command or not found then you have to download node.js how will you download i'll quickly show you just simple go to google type download node.js on simple ride on windows okay click on this download node.js and here you need to download window installer if you're using mac machine you can download mac installer so i'm going to download windows installer it's very lightweight around 30 mb you can check it here and you just uh, it will give you one dot msi file in mac machine it will give you dot dmg file just run it as an installer so i'll show you how to install it so let me just open it quickly so downloading is done you can see that and just go to show in folder and here you can see in my download folder it's there what you do you just double click on it and run this particular install what you have to do you just saying that please wait while the setup wizard prepares to guide you through the installation so let's wait for some time after that it will give you the next button so let me just do that click on next accept the license agreement click on next this is a default location for your node.js just click on next click on next uh choco lately that we don't need that and click on install so once this wizard is done you just simply click on finish and that's it after that you open your command prompt exit your command prompt and reopen it again and then check that version node minus v here you can see the latest node version is available and then along with node you will be getting npm also simple write npm minus v okay so now both the things are available in my system now the third thing is that we have to download visual studio code so what exactly i'm going to do that again i'll go to google okay and then simple type download visual studio code and then click on the first link if you're already having visual studio code no need to download again and you can download the respective mac machine for linux machine and for the windows i'm going to download for the windows machine so you just simply click on it and then it will start downloading it so i'm not going to install it guide it's already available with me so you can simply go to my download section and i recently download this particular setup file that it's already there after that you just need to simple install it just like a normal installer click on next 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 accept the license agreement and then you have to launch a visual studio code from here so you simple launch visual studio code like this simple search for visual studio code from the search and launch the app and here you will see the visual studio code is opened here you can see that open uh, close this welcome screen one project is already created over here you can see that cypress practice but we are going to create a new project so i'll do one thing you simple but let's say i'll go to my documents and from the documents i'm going to create a new folder here so let's create a new folder and the folder name i'm going to create let's see cypress and under cypress folder i'm going to create one more folder this is for my cypress practice 
So this is I'm going to create a workspace and I'll simply write let's say Cypress my Cypress uh, practice and now here under this particular uh, directory we have to create a Cypress project we have to install Cypress and everything we have to create under this directory only. This is my Visual Studio code and what you just need to do you just need to open that folder. So go to file that folder that you have created click on open folder and it's created under my documents under Cypress under Cypress practice and you just simply select the folder. Right now this folder is uh, totally blank. Nothing is there. You can see that Cypress practice got created but nothing is there. It's a totally blank folder. Close this welcome screen. We don't need that. Now what you do in the Cypress in the Visual Studio code also you can actually run the terminal. Okay, you can see that terminal is there. You can execute the commands over here without any problem. We are in this particular directory Cypress practice. If you really want to change the directory you can change it from here as well. Now the first thing you have to do is what you have to run this command npm initialize. It means npm in it you have to run it. It means we are going to provide certain information that what is your package name. So by default package name will be Cypress practice. So just let it be like that. What is a version that you want to use 1.0.0 just let it be like that. If you want to change you can give some other version also. What is the description? I simply write this is for Cypress API automation practice whatever the description that you want to write press enter. What is your entry point index.js just let it be like that. What is the test command right now? I'm not using any test command. We can do it later. Get repository. We are not maintaining it right now. We can add it later. Keywords we can add it later. Author if you really want to write some author you can write let's say Naveen automation labs. You can write your own name. License just default license use it. Is this okay? Simple type yes and enter. In this particular Cypress practice folder npm is installed. The package.json got created. This is the heart of the heart of this project. Just like in Maven we have pom.xml file. In Gradle we have build.xml file. Same thing we have package.json file where we have to define all the dependencies and all the package information script information we have to write it over here. Now the next thing is that we have to install Cypress. So to install Cypress again we go to terminal and the next command that we have to add you can go to Cypress official documentation. You can see install in uh, Cypress how will you search it you simply write go to google.com Cypress installation and go to this first link. And here you can see that system requirement is this. You can use Mac OS, you can use Linux and Windows 7 and above. You should have uh, Node.js 12 or 14 and above. You should have it that we are already having it. And then these are the different things. On Linux, you can execute this command. On CentOS, you can use its command. If you really want to use with the help of Docker, that also you can do it. I can tell you Docker later. And then if you're using npm, yes, we are using npm installer. So it's saying you go to your project directory, project path that we have already created. And run this command npm install cypress hyphen hyphen save dev dependency you have to download it so that if another dev is going to use it they will be getting the same dependency over there they don't need to download the cypress once again so what you just need to do you just need to go to your visual studio code and then run this command paste this command and it's saying npm install cypress hyphen hyphen save dev so you can see that it got started Here you can see that awesome. It got started 24 packages are looking for funding or something like that and Cypress is installed over here. You can see when you get this message. Perfect. Now you will see that okay node underscore modules this these are the node libraries got added and under this library you can see dot bin folder and then Cypress directory is also available under this particular folder. There are multiple other uh, directories and executables and binaries are available. You can check it over here. Right, because this is a JavaScript project. Cypress works with JavaScript, so we need Node modules over here. These are the supportive modules provided by from from Node. After that, what we have to do? We have to launch Cypress. So there are three ways of launching Cypress. The first way is that what you do, you have to go to the Node modules, and under Node modules, you can see bin folder, dot bin folder, and then you have to use Cypress open. What you just need to do? Opening Cypress. Copy this command C under node modules. So this a dot forward slash means in your current project directory go to node modules go to bin Cypress and open it. So copy this and go to command prompt 
in the terminal of the <coughs> Visual Studio Code and press this and enter. So you will see that it will try to launch Cypress. So you can see Cypress got opened, which by default will be giving you some integration test over here. You can see some uh, basic test and advanced examples are available here. And all these files return with .js file. Fine. When you open this Cypress, you just go to your package over here and then open this uh, project. And under this particular project, you can see Cypress package got created or so folder got created. Under this folder, four important folders are there. Fixtures, integrations, plugins, and support. Node modules is a library got added. Cypress.json also got added. Package log.json and the package.json also got added for your configuration. Fine. In fixtures, we will add some uh, test data, just like let's see any username, password, or any test data that you want to add it. You can add it. We will talk about more detail in about these folders later on. In integration, you can write your test cases. You can see getting started or advanced example. The test cases that you are writing over here, see all action spec.js all these javascript test cases will be visible on your test runner also you can see this is my test runner and the same getting started and uh, advanced examples are visible here then we have some plugins if you really want to add some plugins and support means for any utility or any uh, generic function that you want to write you can write it over here so we will see these things later on okay now if you really want to check that okay cypress runner is working fine you just click on any any script over here, let's see actions spec.js. These are the example scripts are already given by Cypress. You click on it and then it will start running it. So you can see that it's running it by uh, localhost. You can see localhost and uh, the script will start. The left hand side, this is your script. These are the steps. And the right hand side, you can see this execution is happening. So see, and uh, quite fast running it and one by one all the test cases are working fine these are your uh, script actions if it is getting passed it will give you a green check over here right you can directly close from here as well the moment you close you can see that connection has been closed and your again you can write the next command over here if you really want to open it again same node modules bin cypress open you have to open it press ctrl c just terminate that there is one more command you can use it you can simply write you with the help of npx simple write npx cypress open you can open cypress with the help of npx also simple run it so npx is coming along with the npm package so with npx also you can directly open it see cypress got opened and the same is script and everything you can execute over here so this is another way of opening the cypress runner let me just close it okay another way is that you can use yawn y a r n the so same script is written over here as well. The same uh, command written over here. If you run this command, yawn run Cypress open. If you are getting message that okay, yawn is not available, you have to download yawn. So how will you download yawn? You simple write with the help of npm, you have to download. Simple write npm install hyphen hyphen globally and write yawn. Fine. So npm install hyphen hyphen global yawn and then press enter. So it will start downloading yawn on this particular system and you can see it's there now and after that we just run this command yawn run cypress open so this is also the third way of opening or launching the cypress runner you can see cypress runner got opened perfect and then you can execute your script if you really want to check one more script for example let's see file specs.js just click on it and the script will start running on the separate browser and then running over here so these are the sample scripts so in this particular series we are going to talk about ap automation not the ui automation for ui automation you can check my previous series i'll give you the link in the description also you go and check it over there for the ui automation cypress with api also very interesting and then later on we will see how can we combine ui plus api together in the same code base so we will see those things as well so let me just close it so there are three ways of doing it we have already seen that so best option I will tell you that better to use simple writes npx cypress open better to use npx to open the cypress okay so please do that these are the seven steps that you have to see install node.js npm visual studio code cypress you have to install set up the cypress open cypress and then run your test cases 
from the Cypress runner. These are the seven things that you have to do it. Let me know if you're not able to do that. Exactly same thing you have to follow in your Mac machine also. Perfect. That's all for this particular video, guys. First session is always the installation setup things, and then next session onwards, we will start writing our first API automation test case with Cypress. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Let me know if you have any issues. Subscribe to the channel and share with others. Till then, take care. God bless you all.